Rusty Lake Hotel, the 2016 video game review. So we are not given a huge amount of context here. We get some over the course of the game, but I don't think I want to reveal that. This was a video game I really loved. Nothing critical I say in this video is out of like bitterness. No one forced me to play it or to make a video about it. And yeah, so the the most popular user defined tags for this game on Steam are puzzle point click adventure horror psychological horror surreal mystery and dark humor right and and casual and hidden object are also quite important so yeah um this is the most puzzly game that i've played recently since i started playing games again yeah i had honestly forgotten how satisfying it is to to solve a, a good puzzle this is point and click same as adios was but this one is an actual puzzle game i do still love adios yeah um basically the the um one thing that i definitely want to talk about is one of the yeah this is from the yeah, this is on the Steam Store. Pick up and play. Easy to start, but it will be hard to stop. This is very much, you know, as soon as you start playing a point and click, the the exact, yeah, how how you play it, how it's how it's made to be played is very important. You know, the point and click. Not to go on too much of a history thing, but it used to be this, you know, you have to, to assem basically assemble a sentence in order to get your character to do something. And, yeah, with this game, you basically just click on a thing to try to do something with it. You can, you have an in inventory, inventory, I can never remember how to put the emphasis on the wrong syllable there. Um, you know, stuff you pick up and you can use that on something that's on the screen. And yeah, there are certain things on screen that you can just activate just by clicking. And it's very clear they've made sure, you know, I haven't played that many recent point and click games. It's possible a lot of them are like this. But it's very clear that they they really don't want people to get frustrated with, you know, yeah, having to, to put together an entire sentence before your your character will do anything. Personally, I, you know, my favorite way to do this sort of thing is what they did with The Curse of Monkey Island, where, you know, you can, you can click on a thing and then, you know, there's the, let's see, it's been a while, but you can use your eyes, you can use your mouth, and you can... Like, I think just touch it with your hands, you know, and, and you know, yeah. Um, but I do appreciate that this is definitely, yeah, this, you can sit right down. This can be, this can be the first point and click game you ever play. You know, I wouldn't recommend a child to play it because it's much too dark. But, yeah, you know, if we're just talking about, like, something that you can very quickly l learn how to do, yeah, this is, this very much does that. And, let's see, so the, um, right, this took, as far as length goes, this took me an hour and 46 and a half minutes, and uh, according to how long to beat, it's, uh, uh, let's see, they, they say two hours, and, yeah, it definitely does in part, you know, there are some puzzles that, you know, you really have to, just, yeah, try to try to figure out where, where, yeah, some of them there's a certain amount of logic to, others, yeah, like I, I looked, I, I saw some people said, oh yeah, I just brute forced that puzzle, you know, and... 
see. Yeah. Um, there is a certain linearity to the game. Basically, the... Um, yeah, there's a number of rooms. Yeah, I guess it's not a, a spoiler. They put it right here on the on the page for, for Steam. There's six rooms, and yeah, across them, you know, there's some there's a good variety to the, the different puzzles. And I appreciate that you do you know, yeah, point and click puzzle games usually a, a lot of the ones I've played, at least. I suppose it's not true for all you know, you, you get to know characters over the course of it, and, yeah, it's, you know, quite interesting characters here. The atmosphere is quite good, you know, yeah, you're basically, you're working at this hotel, and you're essentially working to try to satisfy the various guests at the the hotel and yeah there are some cutscenes this is not one of those games where cutscenes just go on forever and yeah the graphics are quite good there's this very distinct art style that I, I quite appreciated um, I'm not the best to talk about different art styles, but I'll just say, you know, if you look this up on the Steam store, you know, there's there's screenshots from it that give you a, a great sense of what, yeah, the, the art style and the, the atmosphere is like. And, yeah, the audio is quite good. There's certain things that have just the most unpleasant to listen to sounds and it's very much you know on on purpose it's part of the the dark humor and yeah the music sets a tone very nicely and yeah the game is challenging over and it is quite i don't know i don't know if the word is fun but it is definitely engaging i was never bored Occasionally frustrated, but never bored. It does not have an incredibly high level of replayability. That sort of thing can be very difficult for point-and-click puzzle games, you know. But I could see myself replaying. There's, there's one, there's at least one puzzle here where I'm like, I don't need to deal with that ever again. But other than that, yeah did not run into any bugs or glitches and this is one of those games I, I quite appreciate it basically just saves you you don't really have to think about saying and there isn't a, actually any manual save feature but like basically if you accomplish something if you do something that gets you at least a little bit further in the game it's probably going to save you there's not gonna be like a little glowing icon to tell you but yeah, and and this does also mean you know you can start and stop. You can you can play for two minutes, or you can you know I can imagine there's probably people who sat down and completed this in a single sitting, you know. And yeah, the setting of the hotel is is quite nice. I appreciate how much like there's a there's a good level of detail to you know you you visit a bunch of different parts of this hotel. And let's see the I think they do a largely good a good job with the the puzzle, like basically for a lot of the puzzles, there's at least a few little hints, you know the the yeah, if you're you know once you once you enter one of the guests' rooms, you're basically supposed to stay in there until you've figured out everything in that room. And that can help you kind of focus. And then, yeah, you're just, you're looking around that room for clues as to the, you know, what to do with the various puzzles. And that is about it. Um... 
Yes. Um, right, right, yes. Um, one thing to note, this is part of a franchise. You know, on the, let's see... Um, yeah, uh, okay, I'm not 100% certain if all of these are... Yeah, there's several other Rusty Lake games. There's Rusty Lake Roots and Rusty Lake Paradise. And I think it's pop, you know, these other ones might just be that it's the same overall developer, but yeah, you know, there's there's an actual bundle of Rusty Lake games. And yeah, you know, once you've played this entire game, like I don't know if I'm personally going to do it, but there's a definite tease. They they want you to get one of the other games. And yeah, I, I definitely could see myself doing that. Uh, these days I almost only get stuff on sale. I, yeah. Usually I get stuff on sale. Um, I, I suppose... I believe I got this... Yes, I th this was free of a few years ago. That's why I have a copy of it at all but yeah um i'll i'll keep an eye out for sale for the other well, i suppose there's a minor sale but it's not quite as much as i would like to be saving for getting but yeah you know it is a satisfying experience over the yeah um there's one thing you kind of you pretty quickly notice something about this game. I, d I don't really want to give it away because I don't want people to, to realize it too, you know, but yeah, um, I just quite appreciate it. They, there's something, you'll you'll pick up little details very, from very early on and you'll maybe be able to guess where a thing is going. That's not going to take the bite a pun you'll understand when you get there out of it. That was something I, I did quite appreciate about this. And yeah, um, please do not let a child play this because it is definitely too dark. But for the rest of us, you know, if you if you like this kind of dark humor, yeah, this is this is an awful lot of fun.